So the night Jessica went missing, I saw exactly what happened. She tried to sneak into Nicole's party, but she actually didn't get in. Not only because she wasn't invited, but she had got pulled into the bushes. When I ran to see where she was pulled, she was dragged by two guys into the streets. I was in shock and I stood there for a few seconds, but those few seconds, Jessica saw me. She screamed for me to help her, but I just stood there. I threw her into a car and drove off. I went back to the party as though nothing happened. After the party was over, I went back home and I kept replaying what happened over and over. Then that next Wednesday is when everyone started hearing about Jessica going missing. They said if anyone ever saw anything to come forward, but I decided not to. There were moments throughout the week where I felt like I should say something, but there were times that I felt like it was too late. I thought maybe she was dead by now and it'd be pointless for me to come out now. But everything changed when I got a message from a block number saying, why didn't you say But at the same time, like I said, and me, you know, I'm 56 years old. Damn! I'm sorry. Man, you gonna lose your best hitter. What the fuck is that? I was once working at a fast food restaurant. Working there stopped me from eating from this place ever again. It's everyone's favorite spot to get burgers and fries, and it seems like no matter what people tell you, people still continue to eat because how cheap it is. But let's start with the customers. Always be nice to your servers, because I had a couple of co-workers that would take the burger meat, rub it onto the floor, and serve it to the customers that came off rude. The restaurant had mice, and if they found something, they got to it. There was a particular day where I accidentally left out the burger buns and the mice, of course, got to them. On my way to toss them into the trash, my manager stops me and says, we're long stock for the burger buns. We need to keep those. And they were served to multiple families. There's way more dangerous things that went down. But if you guys want me to disclose everyone's favorite restaurant, let me know down below if I should make a part. Part two of the most disgusting fast food restaurant I've ever worked for. And here's a couple of things I think you should know. The hiring process is super easy. You literally just gotta be 16. Okay, so back to the food. When it came to preparing food, the guys in the back that will prepare the food would never change their gloves. They would go from touching doors, cleaning things, to back to preparing food again. I'm pretty sure most of the food they made was contaminated. Our manager was the worst. She loved the food they had and sometimes would pick up a batch of fries with her bare hands and would just eat as she worked. Half the time when she got done with counting money, she wouldn't wash her hands neither. And y'all know how dirty money is. Now exposing the restaurant. I said if you guys comment down below, I might just tell you guys what fast food restaurant it was. But if this TikTok blows up, I do not want to get sued. Just know they make burger fries and they're the most popular fast food restaurant in the world. Story time on how I found out my dad had a whole nother family through social media. I'm talking wife and kids. Okay, so my mom and dad met when I was three, but I could always recall him always being there in my life. So technically, he's my stepdad. They got married and then two years later, my sister was born and another three years, my twin brothers, Trey and Tyrese. On my 17th birthday is when everything came out. Around that time, my mom was four months pregnant, and I had posted a picture on MySpace of me and my family at my birthday dinner. Also, I forgot to mention, I wasn't even allowed to have social media. I didn't even have a phone, but I had a computer, but my parents didn't know I had a MySpace account. I think maybe a week after the post, I get a comment from a random person under the name of Sunshine. They say, hey, that's my dad. Are you his cousin or niece? We should talk. The profile pic was a picture of flowers. When I saw the comment, I was a little weirded out, but come back for part two if you really want to know what I did afterwards. Part three on how I found out my dad had a whole nother family through social media. So I messaged that fake Sunshine account and asked why did they keep making those comments underneath my post. They messaged back two hours later saying you were posting pictures of my dad. I responded back, no, that's my dad. Then they sent me a picture of a girl with my dad. I was like, who's that other girl? They responded, me. I was like, no, you're a fake page. And she responded with another picture, but with my dad and a whole nother woman and three kids, including the girl. When I saw that, I shut my computer down. And later that day, I went to my friends to show them. They were so surprised and I asked them what I should do. Deja was like, don't do anything. If you do, your family is going to fall apart. Alice buds in and just tells Deja to shut up. She was like, yo, you got another sister. Don't you want to know who she is? I replied, no. 
Alice was like, you should tell your mom. Deja was saying no. And he was just arguing back and forth whether or not if I should say anything. Come back for part four. Part two on how I found out my dad had a whole nother family through social media. So I posted my birthday picture. A week later, I get a comment saying, hey, that's my dad. Are you his cousin or niece? We should talk. Me being the investigator that I am, I went through the page, but they really had no pictures, nothing, just pictures of flowers. So I started thinking maybe they probably meant to put that underneath somebody else's post. Two months go by and I make another post for Mother's Day. It's a pic of me and my mom and my dad in the corner photobombing. Within five minutes of the post, I get another comment from that Sunshine account saying, I think we might be cousins. I was a bit suspicious about the account, so I went to my friends about it. When I showed my friend Deja, she said, ignore it because if you show your parents, they'll probably take your computer away because you have a MySpace account. My other friend, Alice, said maybe y'all could be related, so you should reach out to the page. Later that night, I was feeling very anxious, so I messaged that account, and you're not even going to believe what they told me. Come back for part three. So today, I'm drawing on some Unicode contacts, and I really need your honest opinions on which ones look best on me. So this one is a villa. Here's the difference, and here how they look on me. Let me know. Here's a close-up, but I really like these ones. The next one I have is green. Now, this is different for me. I never had like a green that popped this much, but y'all let me know if this is a good fit on me. Now, this next one is brown. Now, when I put this on, it kind of looked like my eyes, but it definitely looks more brown. So, if you have blue eyes wanting to go brown, this is probably best for you. This next one is premium candy brown. Here's the difference. Look, look. And this is how it looks on me. It has a slight gray tint to it. I can tell cute right but last but not least this is the Rio okra but i'm not gonna lie this might be my favorite but i'm telling y'all y'all gotta let me know which contacts you guys think look best on me because i'm trying to figure out a set contact that i should wear every video but let me know down below in the comments okay so she glance face and under eye setting powder is supposedly waterproof <laughs> let's try it so here's your insta ready press powder but i'm going straight for the setting powder and we're going to try this out to see if it really works so i dipped my brush into the water and yo it came out dry i was honestly confused so i used this shade coco loco and plus it comes with a mirror here's the face powder but i'm really here for the setting powder oh so here before i'm going to try it on my left side and also by the way it comes in six different colors so if you're a chocolate or a caramel girl this is probably the best option for you to be honest but look at the difference so i'm gonna go ahead and just beat my whole face bam if you want to get into the pool with your makeup just hop right in because this is obviously not going nowhere love it 